Okay guys, a quick video about uh, Record Box, everyone's favourite, certainly not mine. Just have it open here, I have a couple of new tracks, I take down promos and new stuff every couple of days and then once or twice a month I'll update Record Box. So for example, here's my August uh, tracks that I've loaded into a folder on my desktop. So you can see there I have an external drive connected, you can see it there, music, and then I have a shortcut to my promos. You can see them all there for 2024 for example. Um, so here it is that August 2024 folder. I've just copied them in for the sake of speeding this up. So for example, you just go in and you create playlists on the left. So you just click that little arrow and you create a new one. So there's one for next month. SEP 2024. I've just updated August. And there's the tracks I just dragged in. Now what I tend to do, everyone uses this differently. There's numerous ways to use this program. I'm just showing you my way. I generally put them in, let it do its analysis, and then I rate them. I also add a genre, because that's how I search for my tracks. Firstly, by genre, and second, how I rate them. I used to do the same with vinyl. I write a little five star on a four star, three star. Anything less than three star, I wouldn't play. So, same, I just use that same methodology. Whatever works for you. You can also add comments. You can add in columns over here. You can see comments. This is what comes in from my promo company that I tend to use, but you can you can overwrite that data if you wanted to write in banger or whatever the fuck you want. Um, so for example, all you do is drag drop. So I'm just gonna go into a blank one here, which is September I've just created. Let's drag one in, drag, drop. It'll analyze them. It's already analyzed them in a different folder, so you can see it picks them up straight away. Then you can move them around swap them whatever you want once you're happy that you've done your analysis again you double click it it'll go up to the player you can pre preview it in here you also have metadata over on your right so you can see there i've given this five stars for whatever reason and i've given it a a title so let's just have a look and listen to this one right so let's go back once you're happy you click on your collection select all go to file export this is my dual way of working so if I wanted to just export from here I'd go to sync manager and I take it from the center column which is my record box column not not my iTunes on the left left so on the center you tell it where you want to send things to so I don't have my external drive plugged in but say I had you choose your drive where you want to send so that would be your USB or your SSD you choose what playlist you want and you copy them over with that arrow Okay, I'm not going to do that now because what I do is I generally do a record box export, then a prime export so I can use all four decks in the studio. So because I'm on my collection, I've selected all, I'm just going to go export collection in XML. So now I send it to my downloads. I'm going to call it record box and today's date, which is 2108, 2024. Again, this is just for file management because I have older files there. Save. It takes about a minute. So while that's cooking, um, just let it do its thing. It's exporting your entire collection. So you can see everything I have here on the left is exporting the playlist metadata and the file locations. So then Prime can pick up those same file locations and the same metadata, meaning all of the information you've put in, whether it's cue points or hot cues or ratings or comments, whatever. Now you close record box. Give it a second or two to clear from the system ramp, which again takes a couple of seconds. It is a slow piece of shit. I hate it, but it's a necessary evil. The more you play with it, the better you'll get, and it makes sense to do it once or twice a week. Uh, don't leave it till the last minute. So now I'm just going to open Prime, which should open now. Okay. So you can see here Prime has a button called RB. That's record box. So you just go to record box library refresh, which is this little arrow. If you hover over it, it actually tells you what it's doing on the right on the bottom right hand corner. Just gonna click refresh, it'll ask you where to refresh from. So I'm gonna click on downloads and there's my record box export there. Open. And you can see there straight away it starts sucking all that information in. Now that can take a few minutes. So I'm not going to go any further. Once that's done, it'll all appear under RB in whatever format you've made. If you want to copy it into your record box folder, which is the top one there, all you do is drag drop. So for example, if I go to my promos and I wanted to take the most recent one, which is August, 
uh, it's still updating so I'm not gonna I just go click on one control a which is select all drag and drop up here into the same or wherever you want to put it so promos and it would be August there you go now I'm not gonna do this because it's still doing its analysis so I'm gonna press escape uh, but that's all you do and once that's done you just go to sync manager select your drive up here select what playlist you want to copy and export to drive then you have a dual formatted uh, drive or dual formatted SSD in, in my case I use so I can plug the same SSD into either Pioneer or um, the Denons now it makes sense to have two so you can because obviously Prime won't read on uh, Pioneers whereas the Denons read everything but you need two drives never walk in there with just one drive and just export it to each drive that's how you do it